Check it out. I have a vibration motor and I have a speed controller. Okay, vibration motor is about 60 bucks on Amazon. Speed controller, 12 bucks on Amazon. I will put the links in the description for you so you know. I get no kickbacks if you buy these items, so I really don't care if you buy them. Maybe you find something bigger and better. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the vibration motor to the top of my filter of my dust collector to help keep the filter clean. I got the idea from my buddy Dan at C Smoke Design on Instagram at a cabinet shop that he worked at. Uh, he told me that they had a vibration system that would help keep the filters clean. I thought that was a great idea. So after a little research on uh, Amazon, that's what I came up with. So fairly inexpensive test. If it works, that'd be great. If not, I'm out, what, 72 bucks? So on the top of my filter, uh, the cap, there's a little hump, a little dome that I need to uh, build up my, some layers so I have a make a flat surface to mount the motor to. So I'm going to cut some rings with a lot of plywood and get it mounted to the top and see if it works. Helps if you turn the vacuum on. All right, so I'm sure some of you guys out there are probably like, hey man, what the hell are you using for your circle cutting jig? And it is a quarter 20 bolt with this piece off of the Bosch Deluxe Router Guide uh, RA1054. It's this back piece here. I have two guides. I just took the one apart, okay? Now, uh, I drill a quarter inch hole all the way through my piece, okay? That is my pivot point. So my quarter inch bolt goes through here. I have a hole right here to accept it as well. Now, the, uh, the other cut that I made, I uh, was in a rush completely forgot to secure the board to my sacrificial top. And I got a little bit of a miscut here because the piece moved on me while I was cutting. And now I need to, uh, this time around, like I should have done, is I'm gonna use a, just a pin nailer to secure the piece to my sacrificial top here. All right. So I'm going to do one shot on the outside. Okay, that's secure. And then two shots on the inside. So what happens when I come in here and make this inside cut, these pieces should move on me. All right, now I have my center mark here. I'm going to mark 145 millimeters. I want the inside hole to be 300 millimeters. Half of 300 is 150. So I mark 145 because I'm using a five millimeter bit. So when I drop my router in place and I plunge down, my router bit is on the outside edge. So that's now making a 150 millimeter cut, so the inside circle will be 300 millimeters. Here's what I have. I have a two pieces of 18 millimeter plywood and in the middle, a piece of five millimeter plywood. Okay, and what that's going to do is that gives the spot for the little hump or the dome 
on the top of my filter to go into. And then I have a piece of 12 mil ply that will be my top that I can mount the vibration motor to the top of it. And then when I turn the motor on, it should shake everything and it should work. <laughs> so all I need to do now is take some brad nails and some screws, fasten this all together and uh, see if it works. What I'm going to do now is just take a flush cut bit and make sure that everything's flush around the outside of my ring. Right, so I can give it just a low vibration. I'll just let it vibrate a little bit. So, it should work. So good news, it works. Bad news, I can't show you how well it works. <laughs> I know some of you guys are gonna sit there and be like, oh, why don't you show us the dust falling into the bag? Well, about a week ago, I already cleaned the filter. And that's when my buddy Dan gave me the idea to put something that vibrates on top of the filter. So the filter's clean and my 55, gallon drum is also empty so it's going to be a while before i can really give this a test uh, but on instagram i will month or two however long it takes me to get into the shop and, and make something and, and use my dust collector i will give updates on this to, to show you if it's worth it if it did work so uh hopefully you found uh something useful out of this video or hopefully this made you think of an idea of your own, of a way to better clean your filter on your dust collector. All right, so for now, thanks for watching guys, and uh, talk to you later.